What's up? This is John Reagan and welcome to another episode of Good YouTuber, Bad YouTuber, where the truth is told. Now I wanted to go ahead and start out uh, with Dana Lee 3000. You saw her name up on the list of people that I, I, uh, I said were going to be featured here today on Good YouTuber, Bad YouTuber. But unfortunately, Dana Lee 3000 has removed her vids. Dana Lee 3000 to me was like the Audrey Hepburn of the 21st century. She could do film noir, she could do comedy, she just had that face, that personality, and, uh, and it's a shame, so we can't talk about it today. So instead we're going to substitute Dana Lee 3000 for Hup Daddy. But first of all, I, I, I'm a little distressed about something. And I'd, I'd like to make a mention of it. <sighs> a little phenomenon that's going on on YouTube, and I've, I've made a little clip about it and what I think is happening. So, watch closely. Very quickly, I just wanted to say that I have been downrated. Downrated is what seems to me a new phenomenon on YouTube. Let me uh, let me quickly explain. If you look at the photograph on screen on the first two uh, vids that I have, uh, the first one has 1,191 ratings and the second one has 595 ratings. Now if you look at the second photograph all of a sudden I have 102 ratings on the first vid and 14 ratings on the second vid so I have been downrated. How is this possible? Uh, we're all aware of a YouTube lag and a YouTube bug but this is definitely new. Uh, one of the first people to start posting vids without ratings. In other words, uh, not allowing people to rate their vids was Lazy Dork. And then I've seen that trend continue uh, with other big YouTubers. Uh, Hippie Hillbilly. A whole bunch of others. And I think I'm going to have to do the same thing because I don't uh, understand this. Not that it matters because I think to me what matters is is viewership in other words, reaching people. If I reach people, it doesn't matter what, what people rate my vid. Now let's get started. Let's get the party rolling, people. Roll. Now today on Good YouTuber, Bad YouTuber is Tara is Crushed. Let me tell you a little something about Tara is Crushed. She is attractive. She looks like a young, in shape Renee Zellweger if that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not sure the girl that did Jerry Maguire with Tom Cruise. She's pretty. So now that we know she's pretty, get over that fact and let's, let's look at what she's actually doing. Her first few videos were okay because she was introducing herself and she was playing with her hair and she was dancing. Anybody who dances on camera, they get my vote. Her last video, she's just it was her birthday, okay, she turned 25, and she's just bitching because she's a quarter of a century old, and this and that, it's, it's about a two minute video. But for God's sake, you got a channel on YouTube, you've got the talent, because she does. She could do a bunch of stuff, and this, this, this whole thing, it's an abomination. But 
you know, you can do the drama. You can, you can do something else, you know? I'm sure this is a fluke video. I'm sure she's just had a bad day and she's feeling, you know, horrible because she's 25. My God, I'm 30. I should be committing suicide, right? Ridiculous. Let's go. Tara is crushed because of your last video bitching about being 25. For the day, you are a bad YouTuber. Reagan has a pint. Next up on the list, why don't we look at Morbeck? Why the hell not? Morbeck is... If you don't know who Morbeck is, Morbeck is a character named Cece. And uh, Morbeck is a guy, just in case you didn't know. And uh, he does the makeup and he does the the wig and everything, and he does a, a killer imitation of a girl, and uh, he gets into character and all that. He's from Brazil, and uh, he's a YouTuber with enormous success. I like, no, 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 wait, wait, let me correct that. I freaking love what this guy did on his last video. He was blunt honest. I think the video is called I'm Drunk Something. It doesn't matter if you were drunk. You were blunt honest. He just gave his opinions on some YouTubers, what he thought, what sucks. And this guy, I mean, this, this, is, this is venom coming from his mouth. Venom! Go Morbeck, dude. Anytime anyone is dead honest on YouTube, and I know he didn't mean any harm. He didn't want to insult anybody. See, he likes, I, I know this because I've, I've seen a couple of Morbic shows, he likes these characters. He loves Boheme. He's been on, uh, on, on camera with Boheme. Together. They're friends. He likes Little Loka. He likes uh, uh, whoever else he was talking about. But that day he was being blunt honest, dude. Anytime you're blunt honest, you know, more power to you. My friend Morbeck, for being dead freaking honest you are today a damn good youtuber Reagan opines and lastly but not least Hup Daddy This guy does high quality productions. This guy loves Subway. Look at his channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. They know him at Subway. He practically lives at Subway and he just takes his camera and he goes in the Subway and he's just, you know, and he's, he's, he's gone to Subway with, with, with minutes left on the clock before Subway closes, right? And he just gets there, you know, they, they keep Subway open for Hup Daddy. How cool is that? He's a good show. And all I can tell you, Hup Daddy, if you ever watch this, keep him coming, man. Keep him coming. Keep those. He's got the sense, you see, of being everywhere at once, of being able to do a, a good film production with good lighting, with good, with good every eff effect free. Hup Daddy, because of your high quality productions, of your good filming, and your just your massive creativity. John Reagan today. John Reagan today says, without Siggy and Mouth, I gotta get better at this shit. You are, Hup Daddy, a good YouTuber. Reagan has a pint. Thank you for tuning in.